Welcome to the channel. I'm Nick, AKA Dad. And have you been looking for something to do to your vehicle that would really kind of set it apart from the other vehicles? I've been doing that myself. I've been looking for something that, you know, isn't like every other Bronco. And maybe it's just something very subtle. Maybe something somebody, somebody won't even notice until they kind of stared at it for a little bit and then asked a question, hey, is that stock or did you change something? Well, I think I finally found the product and let's get to it. Well, the product I'm talking about is from East Detailing. Now, these guys, uh, I found them on Instagram. I've seen their ads all the time and everything I need to do to change the inside of our Bronco just a little bit is right inside this package. Let me show you. All right, so here's what we get in the package. We've got our instructions and how to thread everything, which may be giving you a little bit away. Oh, and here's probably giving you a lot away of what we've got going on here. This is their steering wheel cover for a Bronco. Now, it's kind of showing you what we've got here. I did the suede because I've always heard and I've always liked the Raptors, the F-150 Raptor, and they always had the orange line on it. Now, it doesn't really go with our color scheme, but I wanted the orange line because if we do some off-roading, um, which we have been, uh, I wanted something that was going to really catch your attention what what the center line was of the, when you're driving. So that's to, you know, let you know where the top of the steering wheels out to get you back to center quicker but we did more of the suede on this because i always remember people talking about race cars and you know best textures in that for the steering wheel and everybody kind of talked about suede being one that you know was easy to grip was comfortable um and was good if your hands got sweaty supposedly so we got this so we've got our our steering wheel wrap, we've got the instructions. Also inside our bag, we also have our threads, two needles. This orange piece here is actually what we'll be using to push down the, the wrap into the grooves where your controls are at for your audio and the, the infotainment on the right-hand side. You've also got some double-sided tape here, which we'll get into showing you exactly what all this is. This really is more of an install video. Um, we'll probably talk about how well this all goes together into the Bronco at the end, but it's more of just how does this go in? How long does it take? Is it easy? Is it difficult? Let's find out. So their instructions are really well done. I do like the fact they've got the pictures on there. I am a very much a picture person. I like to be able to see what they're doing. Um, reading it doesn't really help me out much. But the first thing it shows you doing is that you're gonna take your double-sided tape and cut it into small pieces. And it lets you know, do not stick the double-sided tape uh, on the edges or over the seams that they already have in them, the stitches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we don't go here. We're going to stick inside that seam and we're just gonna kind of stick around all over the place. The other thing I thought was really great of them is that right here, you have an F and a B, so it lets you know which side is the front and which side is the back, which definitely comes out in handy, especially when you get into these areas here, not knowing which side goes to the front, which side goes to the back. That definitely helps to know, especially when you get past these little thumb, you know, these thumb bolsters on the steering wheel. So keep that in mind as you're going through this. Now let's get on our double-sided tape. Okay, so we have our 3M tape on there. You can see this is what's gonna be tucked behind the steering wheel um, on the front and the back. Uh, so I kind of took these 3M pieces and went a little bit inside of that because I know I'm gonna have to push this down behind it, um, but kind of kept everything pretty uniformed. Uh, I didn't get down in here, which I probably should add at least one on either side of that little guy that will be the bottom side of the steering wheel that's my that's my six o'clock so i might just put one down on either side of this uh just to keep that in place but really that's all this tape is going to do is it's it once we get it into the vehicle and get it into place we'll start peeling this backing off here and letting it sit against the actual steering wheel which will keep it in place while you go into your stitching 
So this is the, probably the toughest part I found as I've done a couple of these uh, kind of uh, checking to make sure which side goes where and things like that. Just be real careful when you're pulling this around because you don't want to slip and hit yourself in the face or something like that. But once you kind of get it into position here, I kind of want to make sure that my stitching is pretty close to where the stitching on the steering wheel was originally. I think we're pretty close on this. And what you're going to end up doing then is you're going to be taking your three and your nine position and get that stuck. And then we're going to push these pieces into here around the steering wheel um, just so it kind of gets locked into position. I'm just going to keep checking this because I just want to make sure we got this right. And I think we do. I think I mean, it's about as close as I think we're going to get here. Let's get these positions off here and let's start tacking this into spot. Start by taking off your, like I said, your three and your nine position. I'll get the fronts off here first. And I'm already looking at this. I, th I think, you know, your, uh, the stitching will probably get a little bit more interesting when you get to the bottoms and that. Uh, but we'll get to that part here in just a little bit. And I would say give yourself plenty of time to get this done. Also, while we're here, we can also take off the three and, or the six o'clock position as well, besides just the three and the nine. So we'll get that done here real quick. Hopefully I've got enough that I've overlapped that we can get this in here to lock in place and just start using this tool and kind of working your way down so you can tuck this in kind of behind. It's coming out pretty good. The pain will also be <clears throat> getting in behind it too. The six o'clock position all tucked in behind. Now we just gotta get the back in, which will be the more, uh, more fun part. So I've got the front done of the six o'clock position. Now I did turn the steering wheel again so I could get out of the vehicle and push in behind this. Now the back side of the steering wheel is really kind of a squishy uh, material back there. So it will try to pop back out on you. It doesn't hold it as tight as this plastic does up front. So just be careful and kind of work it around back there. Um, but it is holding tight. So now he's got to do uh, the nine o'clock and the three o'clock position. And then we'll get to getting the rest of this tape off and sticking it to where then we'll be actually sewing it, which I haven't sewn since high school. So here we go. All right, so you can see I pretty much got it all cinched down along the corners, the sides, uh, the back. You got to be careful in the back. Um, it is tough to get that out, and I see this is kind of pulling out here. You want to make sure you get enough down in these creases um, that it's going to stay by itself. Um, but, you know, you get too much, and it's hard to, ha hard to push it down in there. So you want nice, clean lines. We've got it all down here as well, all done here. And I think the sewing and stitching will, will kind of pull all this together. Um, but I need to take care of this first before we start sewing. But I think we'll start with the biggest part here. And then we'll move on to our small, smaller little spots here. All right. So first things first, before we start, uh, you know, sewing here, uh, is really get a good little knot in there. And then let me get the needle started here. And I'll show you how you're going to start this on the uh, east detailing steering wheel cover. Now, one thing to note is uh, I am using a lot more thread than I really need. Um, and you wanna make sure you got plenty because you don't wanna get to the end of your run or get close to it and run out of thread. So use more than you need. If you, if you think you need so much, add some more to it because they do give you two things of the thread. Um, you've got plenty, so just do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start through the hole on the back side of here. So you're going to find a hole, go through it. We'll probably start on the back because you want your knot to be on the inside of the steering wheel cover. Um, you don't want it showing. So we'll start on the back side and you'll come back through the front on a hole where the thread comes through is what I mean by when I say another hole. So you'll find like this hole here where this thread's going in. 
you're gonna come back out that and then go back through. You wanna make sure you get a good stitch here um, to start the whole thing off. So let me get this started and we'll get back to it. So you can see I've got it coming through here. I actually decided to go through the front um, and I'll pull through here and then go through the back side um, to the other side here and go through a similar hole, you know, right next to the thread itself and do that a couple times just to get a good stitch. We'll have to tuck this back in at some point here, but yeah, we're gonna go back and forth. And I'm gonna tell you some of the problems I've had with this towards the end. So stick around uh, and give you some advice and really just some of the frustrations you might have. Now you can see I've got a couple threads going here already and I wanted to get started before I showed you. Uh, so you're gonna be doing like a zigzag pattern. Uh, so you basically go straight back across like I am here under this stitch, come back and through. Now one of the things is you need to keep the other th you know, the thread tight. Um, and like you see right there, it's bunching up. That's the one problem I have with this thread is that it keeps twisting on itself. Kind of like you've got a hose or something like that and you're trying to wind it up. Well, every time I pull this through, we end up getting a little bit of a bunch to it. But yeah, you keep on the zigzag pattern. You'll go back across here into the back and get underneath the thread here like that. Pull it through, keeping this piece as taut as possible and keep pulling through just to keep those stitches nice and tight. So hopefully you can see what I'm trying to do here. And... There are more frustrations I'll talk about. Maybe it's specifically just about the Bronco, but let me finish up this side. We'll finish up uh, the other little uh, cove that we've got on the other side and then kind of show you the finished product. Well, here's the finished product. Um, you know, there were times when I was doing this that I was ready to quit, especially when I got doing, this is the very first one I did was this long bow or long strung here. And you can see, here's the stitching. Um, as I started looking, you know, I don't have it real as tight as what I do. Like once I started doing down here, you really want to make sure you pull those stitches tight and get the two sides touching. We're on some of this. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a gap between the orange there. Um, but overall, uh, it, would I do it again? No. Um, I think that they, I needed more material. Some of these spots up in here uh, are tucked in, but just barely you can see that it's kind of popping out there. I almost didn't have enough material there. Um, and I just had some problems stitching some of this. I mean, you can see right down in here, uh, it's like I ran out of stitches. I don't know if some are still back behind here or just I started off. Maybe I hit missed a couple because they got some kind of weird spots in there. Not quite sure. So let's wrap this video up and I'll give you my final thoughts on the East Detailing steering wheel covers. Hey, thanks for watching this install video of the East Detail steering wheel cover. Um, my thoughts on it are that I wish that I had more material on the sides that go around the, the control panels on both sides of your steering wheel. I need a little bit more to tuck in back there. I like it to look clean. And right now I'm pretty sure some of it's gonna pop out pretty soon. So overall, I give the idea, I give the idea an A, um, but just overall um, product, I, I give kind of a B, um, just a little bit more material be great guys at East Detail if you're watching this. Everything else is great. Uh, the instructions are great. You gave you gave you plenty of thread and double sided tape. Um, the thread does twine up on itself, so you'll get knots. So you really gotta pull it through sometimes because it all wads up. Uh, kind of like if you're you know unraveling those uh, Christmas lights, it kind of gets bunched up, and then you pull it taut, and it it pops loose. But yeah, you just gotta keep everything really tight, and you know hopefully. They give you a little bit more material on yours, and I like that they give you options as far as what you want to make it a faux leather, leather, Alcantara, suede. Um, I did see that they are running low on um, some of their materials, so I saw suede is kind of out. I saw the orange band is no longer available, so I do like that they give you options, though. So 
I hope that this video has been informative, um, showing you kind of the mistakes I made, um, some things that may help you out if you get an East detailing steering wheel cover and helps you get through yours a little bit quicker. But appreciate you watching as always. And if you're not a subscriber already, smash that subscribe button down below. Have a blessed day. Bye.